Welcome bosses and bossettes. Welcome to the world of fashion. Madison here with and uh, thought I'd bring you to one of my favorite places in Miami, which is called Vizcaya, or Vizcaya, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it properly. Beautiful palace, beautiful garden. We do a video here about beauty and fashion, okay? So this video is gonna be different. It's not gonna be, not gonna be about what you should wear to be fashionable. What looks like a cool club rat? What makes you look like uh, somebody who fits in, in a high status environment? It's not about any of those things. What it's about is just finding clothes that fit your body. How to do that so you just look the best. You know, look at women, a typical woman, push a bra, high heels, all these things that make her look good, that make her body shaped to the silhouette that she wants. As a guy, you can do the same thing. You got the same cheat codes, you have them. You just gotta learn how to uh, put them onto your body and how to use these tools that are available to you. So this video is all about that, how to find the right clothes for your body. I don't think fashion is the most important thing. I don't think looks matter is the most important thing. Uh, but the ability to present yourself to people who don't know you and make a good first impression and show that you can fit into their world and you understand what taking care of yourself looks like and what it's about. If you can do that, then a girl says, hey, this guy's this guy part of my crew, he's part of the tribe, he gets it, all right? It just makes your job easier. It makes it less of an uphill battle. I have about uh, five or six years of experience in fashion marketing. I've done this for a lot of major fashion companies around the world, so I know what I'm talking about. So this video is part of a part of a video that's gonna be inside Boss, but I'm also showing you infield clothing, infield dressing, infield stylizing, so you guys can see what that's like and how I take somebody and mold him so he can find what is good for him and you can imitate that in your life and get the same results. You wanna pay attention to this for this reason. It makes it easier. It makes it easier to walk into a girl who doesn't know you as a stranger and takes a snap judgment of what she sees in front of her and she says, oh, this is a guy who's cool. This is a guy who gets it. This is a guy who can fit into my social circle, into my world. This is a guy who makes sense for me. And you wanna convey all that in split seconds by your fashion, okay? So we're gonna get into the video. It'll be really, really amazing. I think you guys are gonna love it. Enjoy. This is the fashion part of Boss. Fashion, fashion. Now, the cool thing about this fashion part of Boss is uh, it's not designed to make you into Madison. You don't wanna be Madison. You don't wanna be Morpheus. You don't wanna be Robbins, you don't want to be black Obama, even though Obama's black, et cetera, et cetera. I want you to be you. I want you to be you 2.0. Considering anything in fashion, there's really two things you need to think about. A is the cuts and B is the details, okay? No matter what you choose, what type of style, punk, rock, you know, hip hop, modern, whatever, it's gonna be the cuts and the deep details. I wanna say also the cut is a little bit more European. So what that means is, before he is asking your size, right? So European is like a little bit uh, tighter. So if, let's say you're like a 30 jean, or 34 in jeans, European cut, like a slim cut, you're gonna be like two lower. So okay. you kind of have to imagine, so you're like, I'm, I'm this side. He's like, well, what are so you in? The smaller number is the equivalent, or the bigger number is the equivalent? The bigger number is equivalent yeah. in a European kind of cut. So this is good. So essentially there's two types of cuts in fashion right now. One we call the American style, which is kind of like more baggy, chilled out. Um, women refer to this as a boyfriend blazer, something like that. Um, the next one is the European cut. European cut is more slim more modern, more trendy looking. It's basically like Sears furniture versus Ikea furniture, okay? The next thing is details. Details, details, details. I want you to start thinking about not buying clothes, but I want you to start thinking about pieces in your wardrobe. You might have heard this before. You don't want to buy clothes because they're uh, cheap or they're on special or you know your friends have them. You want to buy pieces in your wardrobe. And good pieces make a good wardrobe. It's like a chess set, man. Let's talk a little bit about the essential pieces, okay? I'm gonna go everything from top to bottom of your body and go through those essential pieces, have them make sense to you, and uh, describe some details so you understand them thoroughly, all right? And you can plan what you wanna get in the future and what you wanna look like and start to build out your mental wardrobe. There's two types of blazers, the tall and the regular, first of all, okay? okay. Tall is like the length of it and the regular is the length of it. So, a guy like me, I have to wear tall. So my sleeves will kind of like, the idea is you want to have it so that your sleeves cover your, what is this called? Wrist? Your wrist bone. Okay. That's me, that's perfect for me as a tall. Bam, see that? Okay. It kind of covers it. So yours, you would get a regular because your arms aren't as long as mine, right. but you'd also want to have tight fabric. So kind of like how here, there's like extra fabric. Right. You want to have it so it's a little bit tighter. It's, it's okay. um, tapered to your body. It'll make you look buff, like all this exercising you're doing. Yeah. And uh, no one sees it. It's because of the, it's because of the, uh, the the clothing, and so it's like, it's um, 
you don't get props for all the work you do in the gym, unfortunately. Um, so that's blazers. I want to get, get you this one in a, in a small. And then get you a waistcoat with it, too. <laughs> oh, damn, son. All right, guys. Come here. Dude. Yeah, man. Dude, hold on. So, and a waistcoat, or on a blazer, usually button just the middle one, by the way. Hmm. Let's say you never button, some guys button the last one, it's mistakes. Takes away the taper. I feel like Christopher Walken's in Pool Hall Junkies. No, it's good. Movie? Okay, stand like this. What, you play pool? Look at this, the, art, the sleeve link is a little bit, it's a little bit long, but yeah, it's but okay. Go spend 30 bucks and get a tailored outfit. Yeah, this is good. Trust me. Dude. Yeah. yeah, this is yeah. this is it. And this is like not too much fabric in the back. See, you feel that? How it's like just like an inch there? Yeah. That's perfect. That's how you want it to be, just like that. Blazers, blazers, and jackets, all right? So there's a few things to mention here. I'm not going to talk about uh, what type of blazer you should get. But I'm talking about the uh, the custom in, customization of that blazer, all right? So the first thing is blazers and all jackets typically have a few things to keep in mind. The first one is length of sleeve, length of sleeve. Whenever you get a blazer or a jacket, you should have it so that the length of the sleeve is covered here, and the length of the sleeve is also covered, let's say I'll show you here, when your arm is extended. Typically, if the jacket is too short and you extend your arms, it will no longer cover your uh, wrist, okay? That's when you know the jacket is too short. So if you, let's say you buy a jacket, um, sometimes you'll say you'll see 42 regular or 42 tall, you're not sure what you are exactly. Your hands or your wrist should be covered uh, when your, jacket, your arm's at rest and also when your arm is extended. So that's the length of the jacket, okay? And that goes for blazers as well, dress blazers. Can we see the shirt, just, just only the shirt? Can you see the iron on the shirt? Yeah. Actually, it doesn't it, look that bad. Yeah, it fits well though. Shoulders are okay. I wanted to try this one. This is a stretchy one, a skinny one. Yeah. It's like, it's more expensive, but this might work out better. Comes, yeah. comes right to here, it's good. <laughs> like you should be able to like cross your arms and this is tight, but not so tight that it's like hurting. And it, it, it comes right to here. Oh, this, this is normal, this amount of, okay. it's normal. Yeah, it fits you, yo, dude, man, this stuff is better fits you better than fits me. The next essential item is the dress shirt. The dress shirt is so important, man, it's so key. What you wanna do with a dress shirt, okay, is get a dress shirt that does not have any additional fabric on it. What does that mean? Well, if you look at my jacket right now, we're gonna pretend this is a dress shirt, but my jacket typically doesn't have that much extra fabric on the arms. It's fitted, okay? Um, it doesn't have to be like tight, like razor tight, but you wanna have it a little bit of a, a little bit of pinch, but not too much. So there's not a lot of extra fabric when it comes to the arms of the jacket. It's intentional, designers make that. The better the designer, the more they can have it fit you uh, properly, even though they've never met you, they, they make it like that intentionally. They, they put a lot of money into this kind of research about how it fits. So that's the first thing you want to have when you're looking at a shirt, okay? What is what's the excess fabric that it has? Um, I have buddies of mine that even go to places like Thailand and they'll get a whole bunch of shirts and they'll bring them back really cheap and they'll get them tailored and they'll get them so there's not a lot of extra fabric there. And the less extra fabric, kind of the more quality the shirt is. Next thing, let's talk about the lapels or the collar on the dress shirt. Uh, typically, you can find little small ones. Myself, I like the larger lapels. The larger lapels are gonna have little plastic inserts. These are very good plastic inserts. They help to make the collar stiff and sharp. Usually, the stiffer and the sharper the collar, the well, the more maintained it is. Iron the collar, iron the fuck out the collar, keep it very, very good. The next thing about shirts is, next point here is darts, okay? Say it with me, darts. Darts are going to change your life when it comes to shirts. What is a dart? A dart is two seams that are stitched kind of in the back of the shirt that make the shirt taper in like a V. It's essentially like a push-up bra for your body as a man. Because women have push-up bras, they have shoulder pads, right? A dart kind of takes you and tapers you in and it makes your shoulders look bigger. It makes your waist look thin. So no matter what kind of a body type you have, it's gonna create that V next sim that V symmetry and make you look a lot better. Typically, a good dart shirt, you can find them at Zara. That's a good dart shirt. You can find a good dart shirt at uh, uh, Express. Um, also, the, the material that it's made out of, there's a stretchy cotton, which will give you a better quality shirt, a better quality fit. No matter what kind of shape you're in, it'll make you look better and make you feel better. You're enhancing 
all of your natural body shape. You're enhancing your shoulders, slimming your waist, bringing out your chest. It's enhancement. And don't feel bad about it because I mean, women do this. Women put on makeup, they put on bras, they put on high heels, they enhance their bodies. So what you want to do as a guy is learn how to enhance your body naturally through the clothes that you're choosing. Probably like one like this or another one. So these are like, these pants are, um, they have different cuts. So like right now, everything you wear is boot cut. Boot cut means it's designed to kind of go over your boot. I like that. And there's extra fabric. But you can still do a straight cut jean and it's not like gay. You can do like a, a straight cut jean and it's, it's not like skinny. It's not like you know, like like tight to your your ankles or anything like that. It's not gonna be like this. So but these it, not get me into a club. Those will get you into a club, but when you change the style of the top and the bottom stuff, it'll look off. It'll be like this is puffy with extra fabric, and that is the bottom is gonna be too thin. It's kind of like um, kind of like it'll be like a, a shirt looking like a shirt from Sears versus like something that's like tapered and refined. So these these are kind of like straight cut, either in blue or black. If you have you try have you try both, but blue or black are good. Also. This color of denim is, is kind of like, um, it's a different wash than what you have. And this color of denim, it'll uh, last longer and it's kind of like, the idea of it is um, it looks good with this blazer. So for example, if I take these ones and I put them on a blazer, it doesn't, it's not a solid color, it doesn't match. But these ones will because it's like solid color with um, highlight stitching. Let's talk about jeans for a moment. Jeans are so interesting because they're all very different. They're very, very different. Look how many jean brands are out there, right? Guess and Levi and, uh, you know, there's a bunch of others. True Religion and it just goes on and on and on. Now, not only that, but all these jean companies, they have different jeans within the jean brand, right? So you have boot cut, you have slim cut, you have drop crotch, you have, what, skinny jeans. They're all very different. Now, what makes a jean a jean? There's a few factors to look at. One is the waist height, which usually only affects women. So you have high rise, mid rise, low rise. That's how high it is on the waist. Usually that affects women. For guys, it usually doesn't matter. But next you're gonna have the inseam, okay? The inseam is the distance from the crotch down to the bottom of the jean. So that's why you'll usually see like 34, right? 34 width, and then maybe 34 length. The taller you are, if you're a guy, it's like 5'10", 5, 5'11", 5, uh, 6 feet. The longer you're gonna, you're probably, you're gonna notice we have problems with your inseam basically. Your inseam is never gonna be long enough. You're gonna feel like your pants are too short. You wanna have your pants be long enough so that they don't drag on the ground, but it's above the rubber of your heel of your shoe. Okay, so you have a shoe on, your shoe here, you have a rubber for your shoe, you wanna have it so it's above the rubber, okay? And when you're walking, your socks are not all exposed. That's the ideal length of your, your inseam, what it should be. If you get pants and are not long enough, what you can do is have them take the, uh, the little fold inside and have them extended at a tailor for like five bucks or 10 bucks, it's not that much. Uh, it's a really great thing to do, I recommend. I've done that a few times as well. Um, if you wanna get some really, really uh, cheap jeans that are high quality and also look great, I recommend you check out Zara again. H&M has a great bunch of jeans, like $40, $50. Um, they seem to be doing really well with their, their designs there. And they're, they're, they're pretty decent compared to like the diesel jeans, which are gonna be like 120 or, or more than that, um, American or Canadian. Now, with all these different jean designs, right? Like I said before, uh, they have the one, I think it's called the Alley or the Acrobat, I mean, it's one crazy one they came up with now, but drop crotch, uh, skinny, boot cut, and et cetera. The main one is gonna be, the guys usually get is the boot cut. But that's like your starter jean. The boot cut is designed like that or called that because it goes over the boot. It's designed to fit a boot inside of it. So the ankle or the cuff is usually a little bit loose. Now this is not really fashionable, but it's the average boot that guy, the average jean that guys wear. Now, the next one you should probably get is maybe not a skinny jean, but a relaxed jean, okay? So that's where the leg is straight, and then it just tapers in a little bit towards the ankle. Not a lot, it's not hugging the ankle so that it's fucking busting out of the, the, uh, the material, but it's just a little bit of a taper, a little bit of a taper, okay? Now again, you're gonna have to try on different jeans to see what fits your body right, and um, see which one kind of fits you. Maybe you have, Big ankles. I have small African ankles, right? Maybe you have bigger calves. I have small African calves. Right? Maybe you have a smaller thigh or large thigh, or whatever it is. And also, your height's going to be very. Uh, your height's going to vary based on what other guys' heights are as well. So I can't tell you exactly what to do, but you have to, to figure out which one looks good on you. Go to the store. You know, try on one of uh, each type of jean. 
Um, maybe get the same model, but four different cuts, try on the four different cuts, see what makes sense to you. First thing is just like things you can wear like any fucking day. Like you can wear it like right now, or you can wear it to like a club and still get in. It's like casual shit, but you can get in. So like one of the newest style things is like you see these, fucking, these guys in these um, long fucking uh, LA <laughs> yeah, style t-shirts. Yeah, so you don't have to wear this one, yeah. but this is like, you, you can wear a t-shirt in a club and still rock it. You know what I mean? You don't have to like, right. um, right. it's not like you don't have to like dress a button up shirt. Like you don't have to wear some shit you'd wear for work. Gotcha. Uh, that's the first thing. We'll try something like this. I mean, not this exact one, something like that. Second thing I'm going to do for you is a bomber jacket. Okay? I have a bomber jacket. Oh, like this. This is a this is a, a newer style bomber jacket. Well, I have a liner that comes out of this stuff. And it's the same thing, isn't it? Nah. This is, this is going to be more fitted because the, the style of it's going to be more fitted. And also this one is, um, the small details are the trend. It's been the trend for about two years. Like the side, the, the pockets like this, the shininess. You could rock this to a club and they'd be like, oh, it's still good. It's like, um, it's low key, but it still goes for every environment. Like first impression shit. This, this, is, this is very decent. And this nice and thin. Yeah. I for, feel like this doesn't do what a jacket's supposed to do though. Like it's like a spring one. It's like a spring fall. Right. It's not like, not like jacket jacket. Sure. Like I remember the first time I bought like, um, this shit, I was like, dude, I can't wear this. I look like a blade. I look like a pimp. I can't wear this shit. <laughs> yeah, get it, get it. And I was like, you're so stupid. And everybody's like, yo, where do you get that? Because it's like how you imagine yourself is kind of different than what's possible, you know? Like, for example, like as a dude, like we're, we're dark skinned dudes. Like, we're able to rock certain colors. People can't even rock. We, we can rock red, purple. It's great with our skin tone. Other people can't rock that shit. So, there's a lot of cool things we can do. Take. We'll take this just to put it underneath, just to try it. Okay, I think white would be better. Uh, white is different. It's not better or worse. It's like, um, this is considered like different, two different tones. White, I found the white ones here. Like, I, like, I don't know about you, but I get like fucking pit stains on them and they last like two months, then they're gone. Yeah, the, the fabric here is a little weird. So you even look at like the details here. It's a different kind of cotton. It's not the regular cotton like this shirt. Yeah. It's much more sensitive and, and um, frail. And the stitching is different too. So this one stains very easy. And we're gonna experiment with this one, maybe, as an under. Bam. Say, say what? What combo should I try first? Um, try the green with any of these two jackets and a pants. Yeah. And just alternate the shirts and the jackets. The, com the combos, this will all work with each other, by the way. It'll all work together. This is dope. Green's a very hairiest fuck. I know. Yeah. We'll give him a V-neck. This is, this is actually, so the length is what it should be. The color, he has a couple color tones. You can, you can fuck around with this, right? You can wear this with blue jeans. You can wear this with um, uh, a white shirt, like how you were saying, white shirt. You can wear this. This is, this is perfect, dude. It fits him really well. Yeah. Also it also makes you look buff in the chest area. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. And actually, the color and the insole, they kind of not match. Yeah, and also because you're because of your skin color, we can rock with colors like that. We we'll look better. Yeah. Yo, can I see just the green shirt? Just the green shirt. Fucking guy looks ripped. Now I can see you're going to the fucking gym. Before. Can you see that shit? No, the I'm fucking loose fun. shirt. No, no, dude. Look, 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 look it's Jack. It's Jack. What, what size is this? This guy? is small. Oh. Yeah, this is dope. Medium? This is. Oh no, 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 no! You need to show it. You need to show the V right now. Yeah. Right you now. want it? You want that? You want? So the idea is, like, you look at the mannequin. They have it pinched in the back. Like See, look at you. It's almost like you want as little fabric as yeah, possible here, nice so it gives you a V neck, a V uh, have a nice shape nice body. Nice. But this is, yeah, this is perfect, dude. Um, I think, and I think the jeans are actually dope enough that you can wear these um, out with shoes. You can wear into a club. That's a little crazy. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Asian no. shoes, actually pretty dope. Though. Yeah, the jeans. So the jeans are perfect. Shirt is perfect for sure, though. So try it with a different. Try the other jacket with the other shirt. In the same jeans? Yeah. Oh yeah. Because I'm a short dude. Yeah, it doesn't make you look as tall. Look, yeah. The yeah. Shorter. I think the bomber style is better on me. Yeah, the shorter one is better. Cause yeah, it also hides. It also hides. Um, this one hides your 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 V and, and your taper a little bit. So this one is not that great as much. Uh, can I see just the shirt? Yeah, dude. Oh, it's, it's fucking money. The shirts are perfect. The shirts are perfect. It's supposed to be like that. It feels weird at first. You're like, I must like, cause from your angle, it just looks like it's like a bunch of random shit. Like there's horns and what the fuck. But then from our angle, from here, it looks totally normal. It looks artistic. You look like a sensitive, tough guy with flowers and bulls. Yeah, definitely, the, definitely both the greens 
and definitely the uh, the pants. First of all, you match skin uh, colors to your skin tone, right? So for us, we're black guy or black or brown. So reds work great, purples work great, black work great, any neutral color tones. And then what you want to do is you want to not have too far of an extreme. Like you wouldn't do like a purple and a green, for example, right? Purple and green, a guy look like a clown. You'd be like blue, black, right. and gray, that makes sense. or like light tan and gray. Okay. You, would, you, would, you would do all that to kind of like make sure the tones are similar. Pants are pretty, yeah, like they are, the pants go with everything because they're gray. If they're black, they go with everything. If they're dark blue, they go with everything. If they're light blue, yeah. the pants wouldn't go with everything. Right. So it doesn't match the outfit you had before. Oh, sorry, it matches the outfit you had before, but right now it's like, man, eh, it's okay with the jacket. And the pants are good too. Yo, they're a little more skinny. See the pants? These are a little skinny, but they're not bad because it's, it's a thinner leg, but the, everything else is tighter as well, so it's still uh, symmetrical and then you still kind of like the way it's cut the tapering and stuff you still look like you're buff but you're just slim you don't have to hide the slimness but still look buff oh dude you're sexy that's sexy dude that's sexy look at this look at this shit damn yeah 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 you're gonna get laid dude <laughs> dude you need you need just shoes you gotta get your like we gotta go me and you will go for shoes man this is sexy as fuck dude you want to stay we'll go for shoes yeah we'll get it you 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 this is this is good man socks yeah good you can't do white oh yeah unless you have black socks i have black okay then don't worry Dude, good. This very, very, this is the one. That's it. That's all. I want to thank you so much for watching this. Take this, be better, be smarter, be stronger, be more attractive. Make your body look amazing for what it is, no matter what you wear, you know? Like, go from a five to a seven instantly. Bam! Go from a seven to a nine. People are like, oh, Madison, he's just a cool black guy. Not without the clothes, bro. Not without the clothes. I'm fucking around. Anyways, that's it. That's all. Thank you very much. Keep in touch, and don't be a stranger boss welcome back um yo that video was all that i promised it would be right all and more uh i've been hesitating to put out videos like this because i didn't really think that guys would love them but i've had a lot of requests for this in my personal emails my private messages so i decided to put it out because i thought hey man they want to just give it to them right so if you love this video subscribe right now don't even hesitate subscribe now so you can get on the notification squad Notification squad in full effect. Get in that notification squad for when videos like this come out until you don't miss them. If you want to see more of these, I check to see people want them and I put them out based on demand, okay? Um, thank you very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, stay tuned. We've got more of these coming up really, really soon. Uh, and as always, keep in touch and don't be a stranger. Cheers.